September 13th, 2008. Hurricane Ike batters the Gulf Coast of Texas with blistering 110 mile an hour wind gusts and a storm surge as high as 20 feet. If you can look behind me, you can see that water coming right up over the seawall there. Around 3 a.m., the eye passes over Crystal Beach. With the second half of the hurricane yet to come, the small island is under an unfathomable 15 feet of water. Coast Guard veteran Mark Davidson faces Ike's wrath head on as he clings to the roof of his home. It's the only part of the structure not completely submerged by water. The roof got caught on the power lines, but the current was so strong it went ahead and pushed the house through the power line, and the power line cut the roof off, sort of like a bandsaw would cut it off. The roof splits in half, dumping Mark into the raging water. He grabs a hold of a telephone pole, but within minutes, it comes crashing down. Mark is now trying to swim in high water and deadly currents. Well, you just went with the current. There was a lot of debris in the water with nails and boards, sections of roofs. I was having nails raked across my back and legs and arms. Mark knows he's got to get away from the razor-sharp debris. I was going to either get crushed and killed, or I was going to break a leg or arm, and I knew that if I got injured, that I was surely going to drown. It was like being shoved underwater and brought up for a breath of air and then shoved underneath. Didn't even have time to exhale up above the water. I had to exhale while I was underwater and then get a breath of air as quick as possible and try not to suck in a bunch of water. Storm Stories. Weekends at 8 on the Weather Channel.